Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Emacs Tiny Hawk, and as well as the review and the flight footage of this. Now, just before we begin, there's a couple things that I like and some things that I don't like. Now, the overall hardware execution, I'm I'm really a big fan of this all-in-one board here. It's a custom all-in-one board with an F4 microcontroller unit and MPU6000 gyro, and at the same time, it's soft-mounted all around. Now, it is proprietary, so uh, it just goes for the Emacs because of the mounting holes of the board and the way it's designed here. Now, in terms of flight performance it is very very stable uh it is somewhat resilient to wind a lot more than any other 1s and even some uh 2 and 3s micro quadcopters so that left a huge impression on me of this little micro in in terms of wind resilience and to be able to use it outdoor you can totally use this outdoor which is just phenomenal especially if you're going to be going to a park you're not going to be hurting anyone it's only like 40 grams and it performs like a premium premium setup for a 1s micro now the camera camera quality was really great uh compared to even some 30 dollar cameras such as this you know I, I would actually choose the camera quality on this over this this is my opinion i really loved the camera quality i was flying them on the same day basically as well that day uh the camera quality on this is really great it is a 25 milliwatt vtx but it could be outputting a little bit more than 25 milliwatts because i got a little bit further range than any other micro that was outputting 25 milliwatts in the field that i usually fly in so that's a huge plus right there and you can also increase the range by modifying the antenna there's a couple videos online to show you how to do that now, the thing that I really didn't like about this is the propellers. The motors were good. The propellers are proprietary. So you're going to have to buy the exact propellers and able to have them fit here. And another thing is there is nothing to uh, secure them into place other than friction. Now, this is a good and bad thing because usually replacing a prop on a micro is an absolute pain in the ass with the little 1.5 millimeter hex screwdriver just all over. This one, you just pop them right off. But again, most 1Ss are the same way. Uh, but, you know, in a hard crash, and if you go into turtle mode or flip over after death or whatever, the prop can fly off, and that happened to me. So keep that in mind. Uh, so when you go grab your quad uh, and you, you just saw it flip out of nowhere, possibly the, the, uh, the propeller flew off, especially in turtle mode. That's when it'll just pop off. That's what happened to me. So keep that in mind. Now, also, this only comes with one set of props, which are the ones that are currently on and i've gotten into quite a lot of crashes here some of the props just got chipped a little but um they're pretty good props they're gonna last quite a while and uh, unless you lose it obviously but um the overall damage it can take is quite remarkable actually i was pretty surprised with it um i didn't get into too many hard crashes but i got into a couple pull crashes and just it just basically it really and then overall it just held out really great Usually on stuff this size, when you get into a crash, you just start having these oscillations out of nowhere. I didn't have any of that with this, and um, I really did like that as well. That just says a lot to me here. And if you also take a look at the ease of access to replace a motor or anything, it's really simple. Look how they've done that. Just to connect or pipe that off, remove the screws, and put the new motor, and just use the connector. So in that, in, in that perspective, it's really nice. So it's really user-friendly for people who don't want to solder and play around with this. And they just want a quadcopter that if it just something goes out, they can immediately just fix and this is what they've done here and um i can guarantee you're not going to be disappointed if you ever decide to pick one of these up here uh, i myself am not disappointed and uh, actually surprised on how well this thing actually performs now for batteries it comes with the emacs 450 and that's just one battery i needed a couple so i also had these uh, uruav 450s and they perform just as good as the emacs uh slightly less um c rating i would say because i felt like the emacs had a little bit more punch sometimes uh than these just a tiny bit more you know it's it's very nitpicking here but overall these uh these batteries actually performed really well and most of the time i was actually just flying them on these batteries here i'll have them linked down below you get like five of them for i think like five bucks or something or ten dollars so they're really good i'll definitely be picking up more and using more of those so that's something really nice and the emacs batteries were great as well um, it does have OSD and everything. It's it's a really good 1S micro. That's all I can currently say, guys. It's, it actually flies phenomenal even outside. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I'll have the links down below if you can check those out. Those greatly support the channel. And I'll leave you guys with the FPV footage. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.